right guys so welcome back to the channel um so we got the lightning in the back mando's asleep and we got carlos up here on the phone with his uh project uh lightning shirt freddy you know lsx <laughs> gotta represent so uh, we're here in mission texas already we're like a couple of blocks away from the dyno so once we get there guys i'll show you guys what's in there what they're working on and what that baby in the back is going to put down so cross our fingers okay so we just arrived and we got the white zilla in the back our man where's carlos where's carlos there we go we got carlos out there in the back taking out the fender from the trailer to get inside the truck but there she is guys white zilla made it to mission texas at Sanoli's performance dino shop i'll give you guys a, a walk around of some of the lightnings they have up there uh, there's another one up here, No. 4. I'll show you guys that, that little truck in a bit. It has a GT500 uh, uh, swap blower on it. And there's a couple more out there. But uh, we're going to get this baby off and see what she does. Rolling it back into the rollers. be just a to check how everything looks on the log not a full actual pass got back from the dyno and uh, yes we had some issues with the truck uh, so this truck had some MSD coils from the previous owner before my cousin bought it uh, MSD coils are not as good as the OEMs and especially on a monitor BA on these kind of a coil and plug I'll show you guys MSDs when we took the little boot off from the bottom but uh, these are not as good as the OEMs so we had some issues. Uh, the truck didn't make enough power like it did before my cousin had bought this truck off my uncle. Uh, before it went in there and the truck was not 100% running and made 50 horsepower more. Now it, now we fixed the issues and every all the idles and the ghost cam it used to have and all that stuff because all the vacuums were bad. The truck lost power and we were having some misfires, misfire, 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 misfire. misfire so. You guys saw in the last video, we had uh, checked the spark plugs. Spark plug number four, number five, they were melted. Uh, I checked compression on them. You guys saw it was 180. So we talked to a tuner and you, we said, you know what? We're going to go check it out. Um, we got his, his advice. So we just came back. So I told him, told my cousin, you know what? Once we get there, I'm going to do compression on every cylinder one, every single one. So that's what I did. I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can see. So we're about to do a compression test on all the cylinders all eight so we are ready to do it we already got our uh fuel pump relay uh, out so we're gonna crank it see what it comes out check all of them but what we found out because we were having that code on misfire cylinder eight 
we took out the spark plug. And the spark plug was completely new. Like nothing had happened to it. So my guess, because we were talking on the truck, what, what could it be, other problems that had happened before. I think it might be an injector. It's not working fine. It, 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 it has a malfunction. So we have enough injectors here at the shop. Thankfully, so we're gonna try that out first run compression see everything's good Then we're gonna switch out the injector put everything back in there regap them again 28 to 28 and Test it out again guys, so we'll see stay with us Seems we got good compression guys 180, 180, a little bit over 180, 180, 175. Check it up here, 180, uh, 150, we're still good on that. 180, 175, so we're good. Compression's good on the engine. So uh, my guess is that uh, injector. So we're gonna check that, check the wiring, see if everything's good. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll let you know what happened, guys. So stay with us, see what's the problem, we can fix it. All right, so, uh, we just checked all the spark plugs, put back the MSD coils. Um, these clips, um, it's very common on the F-150s. Um, they break on the bottom, so you gotta put some tie straps around them, then another one around that part to get them clipped in there. Uh, we already swapped out the back injector, number eight, over there in the very back. I don't know if you guys could see it. Let me zoom in on that one. There we go, that one. So we're gonna start it and see what happens. Before she would be shaking a lot, so now we'll see. Crank it up. No moving, no shaking. It sounds good now. Gonna see if her bike pass valve works. We're gonna go test it out and I'll let you guys know what happens. All right guys, so we just came back We went out and tested the truck and man, she is a hundred percent Running good. No service engines. No misfires. Everything's good. We had that bad injector on cylinder number eight um, Let me turn the camera guys for you There we go. So the trucks a hundred percent good already now So uh, we're gonna take it back to the dyno maybe in two weeks when my cousin comes back from San Antonio We'll take it back. Uh, he said he's gonna switch the coils, the MSDs for the stock ones, OEMs, and he's gonna get a MAF 26, uh, 2600 SCT. So, man, this truck's damn fast. I didn't get any recordings on it, on, on, on the driving, because we just wanted to test it out, but this thing was spinning from a 25 row. From a 45, she did damn good. 65, 50s, man, this thing's hooking pretty damn good. She runs smooth. Downshift smooth, everything's good. So we'll just wait. We'll just wait until my cousin comes back and uh, for him to take it back to to Mission Texas, so we could do a retune and see what power she's gonna put out now that she's running 100% good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Stay up to date with my newest videos, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.